Now one interesting um, further effect we have to remember the name of also is the Easterlin paradox. The Easterlin paradox appears when we compare happiness inside a country with happiness between countries. And this is a little confusing now if you're not a native speaker of uh, European language. Intra-country comparison means a comparison within a country, inside a country, while inter country comparison means between countries okay you have to distinguish intra and inter otherwise you will not understand what's happening in the reading um, so within the country there is some effect of wealth on happiness we saw this before the more wealth you have roughly the more happiness you you have not much but there is some weak correlation um, and although there is habituation there is also a real drop of life satisfaction at very low income levels the same effect doesn't seem to exist when we compare across different countries. When you compare American happiness with happiness in some low income country in Africa or South Asia, then you don't see these huge differences that you would expect from the intra country comparison. And so you see here a table where you have correlation between income and happiness between countries. This is again from Easterlin. Um, economic growth page 105 and if you compare now here you will see that you have the real GNP per head uh, on the right side look at this number and then you have the personal happiness on a scale from uh, 0 to maximum 10 and you can see that uh, this doesn't um, uh, correlate at all. This is sorted according to happiness, right? Uh, so that uh, on the right side you can see that the richest country, United States, actually also has a relatively high happiness. But then the next high happiness is um, Cuba. And Cuba has the second high happiness, although it has a sixth, approximately a sixth of the GNP per head of the United States. And the third country in happiness is Egypt. And Egypt has only a tenth, less than a tenth of the GNP of the United States. And then comes Israel and West Germany, again with very high levels of income, but now relatively low happiness levels. So this shows you that when you compare between countries you get strange effects and so Easterlin sees no correlation here between these numbers so he plots it in this way this again is disputed I told you everything is disputed but this is one of the points that are very disputed uh, Easterlin plots it in this way like we see here and he says there is no correlation you see it's a straight line with some outliers so the real GNP per head and the happiness does not have any correlation and he calls this the Easterlin paradox, or, or other researchers have called it the Easterlin paradox because, because Easterlin first pointed it out. And here is how it is formulated. The Easterlin paradox is the following observation. The happiness differences between rich and poor countries that one might expect on the basis of within country differences by economic status are not borne out by the international data. So what does it mean? Unpack the sentence a little. It means from within country, intra-country differences in economic status between rich and poor, we would expect particular effects of income on happiness, that richer people are happier. Poorer people, especially very poor people, have to be very unhappy. But this does not show in international comparisons. Poor countries are not unhappier than rich countries and even very poor countries like Cuba or Egypt can be among the happiest countries. So this is a paradox. Why does internationally this uh, correlation between income and happiness not hold in the same way like it does inside a country? And um, how can this be explained? And now um, the, the explanation is actually easy and straightforward and, and widely accepted even if you don't accept the experimental data. And the idea is that comparison of a person with others usually is limited to the inside of country borders and even to the inside of particular social um, uh, strata, you know, social um, 
groups. Uh, so you compare yourself to people in your social environment. And you would perceive yourself as rich or poor relative to others in the same environment, but you would not compare yourselves with people living in totally different and faraway countries. So when I get happy because I have more income, I compare myself with people in my situation, you know, my colleagues, philosophy teachers in Hong Kong. I don't compare myself with some actor in Hollywood. This would be silly. Why would I compare myself, you know, to some actor in Hollywood who earns millions for the next movie? Uh, I will never earn the same amount in my whole life. But um, this is not my standard of comparison. Also, my standard of comparison is not some guy uh, on the street somewhere in uh, Bangladesh or wherever, you know, in South Asia, in some poor country. This is a beggar there is not my standard of comparison, right? My standard of comparison are people who are like me. And so this is why within a country, we compare ourselves with people in, in our society and we can say that we are better off than others or worse off than others. And then we have this effect of income on happiness. This does not happen so much internationally because we don't compare ourselves so much internationally. Especially the poor people don't do this, right? They are not connected so well. They don't have so much access and so much interest, perhaps in foreign countries because their interest is occupied with their survival. So uh, they don't travel so much. So they have much less experience of foreign countries. For rich people, it might be more common that they you know, um, go travel to other countries and then they find standards of comparison there. There is a sentence of Karl Marx that is quoted here by Easterlin. A house may be large or small. As long as the surrounding houses are equally small, it satisfies all social demands for a dwelling. But if a palace rises beside the little house, the little house shrinks into a hut. Right? So it means your... Um, Standard of comparison is uh, the important thing here. Your happiness about your income is one of rank. If you have more income than others you compare yourself with, then this is a source of happiness. If you have less income than the others, it's a source of unhappiness. If you don't compare yourself with somebody else at all, then this is not a source of happiness or unhappiness. <laughs>